Cubase 6.5 introduces two new instruments, one retro and one modern. Retrolog takes you back to the early days of old school synthesizers. It has earth shattering sub oscillators and classic filters, perfect for that screaming synth sound or cutting bass. Let's take a quick tour. Retrolog has preset and automation controls in the frame. The top level controls things like mono and poly mode, glide, octave, pitch, tuning, and volume. From here, the signal flow is essentially left to right through the instrument, starting with two oscillators, a sub oscillator, and noise generators. Each oscillator has a lot of capability. There's more here than meets the eye. For example, when you select multi-mode, this number window appears to let you select the number of additional voices that you want it to generate. And this control lets you detune them. Switch back to cross or sync mode, and the knob changes again to let you control the wave shape. The mix section lets you balance the oscillator outputs, control the noise generator output, and activate a ring modulator. The filter section has all the tools you'll need, including 12 different filter types, selectable distortion, and a dedicated filter envelope. Retrolog has delay and modulation on board, with two types of modulation and all the sync capabilities you'll need. Underneath it all are the LFOs and programmable modulation matrix. The LFO lets you set up a timing source that you can even sync to the beat. Then use that source to control almost any parameter in Retrolog. And when you put it together, you get this. At the other end of the timeline, you have PadShop, a state-of-the-art granular synthesizer. Granular synthesis lets you break apart samples to create entirely new sonic textures. Granular synthesis was historically too hard to control, but PadShop changes all of that. It has an intuitive interface that lets you harness the power of granular synthesis. Let's look around. You begin by loading a sample from the PadShop library. Click on this triangle, navigate to the type of sound that you want, and then the sample that you want, and double click it. Now this is what the basic sample sounds like. But listen to how quickly it morphs into something new with only a few minor adjustments. Then you can process your new sonic texture using familiar tools, which will help you learn PadShop quickly. PadShop incorporates features never seen before in a grain synth, like the spread control. You also have pitch controls for tuning and formant, filters with a dozen different styles, and a dedicated filter envelope. You have an amplifier envelope and a modulation matrix that allows you to use an array of sources for timing including two LFOs with waveform, shape, and sync controls. And you can route your source to an array of destinations with the ability to control offset, depth, and add a modifier. Click on this tab to call up another five rows of matrix. And for even more rhythmic possibilities, click on the step tab to unveil Pad Shop's onboard step sequencer. You can set up the exact number of steps that you want along with their sync mode. And programming is as easy as clicking and dragging. You also have several presets available here to help you get started. Click the FX tab to access the built-in chorus and delay. Here's another unique feature, the dual layer capability. This allows you to combine two completely different soundscapes in one program. So you can set up one as a legato pad and layer two as a rhythmic structure. 
Now that you've seen a little of Pad Shop, take a listen.